My full name is Venmark Omolaja Bola. And um, DJ Venom, the origin of DJ Venom is actually from my first name, Venmark. So it's just um, with time, people started calling me different um, alterations of Venmark, Veno, Venom. And finally, I arrived at Venom with the U. And if I follow, I swear to God, I go they happy. How long have I been DJing? Um, I've been DJing for roughly four years now. What inspired my attempt at the Guinness Book of Records? Um, that was basically me, first of all, trying to be different. And um, I did my attempt for two reasons. First of all was to boost my brand, making me stand out among others. Second of all was to push, I used it to start a project that um, created awareness for quality education through donation of a million books to run Nigerian children. I wanna be the one that you be calling, no. I wanna be, I wanna be. So to explain the whole experience, it was, it was crazy for me, very crazy. Um, at the beginning, or you know, the first, before I started getting support from people, organizations, funding, um, little logistics and everything, it was very, very hard. And um, many people thought I was probably just bluffing, I couldn't get as far as I actually did. And um, my social media was very, very, um, I was trying so hard to promote myself on social media, let people know what I wanted to do. Then the first few days I was very, very disarranged. My team was just trying to arrange things together, get things done. But I think by the time I got past the first five or six days, I started seeing support from individuals in funding, in um, social media publicity, in services that we needed during the event. So little by little, I think after I crossed, by the time I got, I got people telling me that I won't go past 10 days, because I think on Google, when you search how long a human body can go without sleep, it's I think 11 days. So many people thought I won't go past 10 days. Some were saying five. Then on the 10th day, I think on the 10th day, my legs got swollen. Uh, my legs are very, 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 very swollen, like because I was standing for most of the first few days. Then, um, by the time I got to the twelfth day, there was a point where I was having issues with understanding my sanity because of the fact that I'd been to so much mental stress because of the fact that I had skipped sleep for so long. Um, there was a video that made waves online where I was crying actually because um, I got caught up in some moments that I started reconsidering why I was tired at all. I was confused, man, because my spirit man and my human and my body were uh, probably at loggerheads, not understanding each other. So I got to a point where I, I was very, very tight actually, and I had to decide because of the fact that people were around me and were giving me support, actually continue. So by the time I finally got to the end, it was like, man, um, I didn't know I would get that far, honestly. But I just had in mind that I had to just start and go as far as possible. So um, keeping up with kinds of music over those days, it was kind of hard at the point because of the fact that I had um, issues with comprehending if I was actually understanding myself. But basically, I had, there's a way you arrange your song as a DJ that makes it a lot easier for you. There are different crates that you arrange some set of songs into. So I think I used a lot of that. Then um, you get, there's a point that I could just prefer to just mix more of the oldies, the Akpala, the Fuji, the Juju. Then at the point I was doing the 90s, I was the foreign 90s and 80s. At some point I was doing Nigerian 1980s, and I was doing Nigerian hip-hop, I was doing Nigerian gospel. So I was able to differentiate. Once, once you have your folder or your library as a DJ properly arranged, then um, I think the number of songs on my system could keep on playing for three months if I played them back to back. So I had a lot of songs to actually play. So with the fact that they were properly arranged with my library and um, that, I was, that's how I was able to cope. For the number of these I played. Grass, as a unique 
skills. They are making the Harris too cash. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. Man, visiting, those have visited me. I had quite a number of people. I had MI come around. I had Super Woozy come around. I had DJ Lambo come around. I had um, the first lady of the of Undo State come around. Then um, I had um, I had the commissioner. Um, so I had a couple of commissioners. I had um, an entourage from the Federal University of, of Technology Akure, the governing council, as well as the student union. Um, I had some friends come in from Lagos, from Abuja, from Port Harcourt, actually from Benin. Um, who else did I have? It was awesome. I had quite a lot of people that actually came to support me. They were students, they were working class people. I had the people that you regard as being old, probably the older people. I had, I, had, I think I had a pastor come around sometimes. So it was, it was fun. Different kinds of people came, different walks of life. I had some very, very important social media influencers that actually came around, the likes of Jimmy Fash, the likes of um, and it's Tizzy that was part of my team. Then I had other individuals coming, so many people. Who I look up to in the industry, there's a whole lot of people that I look up to in the industry and I try my best to probably pick a little bit from everybody and add to yourself. You might like somebody's dressing, somebody's style of music, somebody's style of scratching, somebody's style of, of, tauntab of tauntablism. And all those, by the time you pick them as a DJ, you tend to add everything to yourself and get better. But um, first of all, I think I'll consider the highest paid in the world, highest paid DJ, that would be David Guetta. Then the highest paid in Africa, that would be Black Coffee. I think he's one of the highest paid musicians on the continent, but he's actually a DJ. Then um, probably in Nigeria, the likes of um, KYS, the likes of um, DJ Spinall, then the um, likes of DJ Mondola, General Indo, likes of DJ Wallace. There's so many of them actually, but I think those are those that come to my head right now. Um, I like his Daniel a lot. He has a wonderful voice and does. Um, he's very flexible on music. He's never had probably um, a tight, like he does everything. He works well with everybody. Then I like MI. His rap style is unique and is one to always reckon with wherever he, uh, he has been, like whatever he has done. Um, internationally, I love Nasty C. He's done very well with this kind of music. He's done everything all around also. Then um, I also look up to the likes of Drake. Drake does very, very good music. So these are some people that I look up to sometimes when it comes to music. I listen to their songs a lot and probably get to work with them sometime. What makes a DJ? First of all, a DJ is somebody who can um, utilize various sounds by virtue of different origins to make or to entertain the crowd, make them dance. Yet, you have a party DJ, wedding DJs, but you must be able to use or harness sounds from various origins. By various origins, I mean different artists, you have instrumentals, you have synthesized sounds that we all combine to make people dance. So um, that's just basically what a DJ is. There's so much more to DJ in terms of professionalism, skills and techniques, but basically you must be able to utilize sounds from various origins to entertain a crowd. Yeah, yeah, what up people, this is your favorite boy, I'm DJ Venom, I'm the longest playing DJ in the world, keep watching Nigeria Extreme, Jim awesome.